This week on the Ritual Misery Podcast, we're going to talk about Roadrunners. I didn't see any of those on my camping trip. And I didn't have to downgrade my iPhone this week. Oh, uh, well, you know, sometimes when you put it up against your ear, you just get a little hustle sound. And that's never good. Hello and welcome to the Ritual Misery Podcast, episode 223 for Thursday, the 15th of August, 2019. This is the show where two lifelong friends and their guests celebrate all things geek. I'm Amos. That's Kent. How you doing, Kent? Good, man. I like how your response on a on an audio podcast is to wave at me when I say your name. Um, no. For the audio portion, I was waiting for you to finish talking. I was <laughs> waving to our Twitch viewers. <laughs> <laughs> you almost pulled that off. I almost believe you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dude, uh, we went camping this weekend, man. We took the uh, the trailer out and went camping with a c- couple neighbors, and it was just the is wife it, and I, and it was awesome. Is it actually camping, or is that, like, glamping? You call it what you want, I don't give a shit. Okay. Yeah. So you were glamping with sure. the fam. How about this? I was RVing with my with, with my wife and our neighbors. Nice. How's Good time? That? How's that? It, was, it was. It was. It was. We got to meet one couple, um, and we got to know our neighbors a little bit better. <laughs> Oh God! Like, like, how well did you get to know? Uh, I mean, not not that well, but we <laughs> when we arrived, they were already uh, half a bottle of tequila in. So, oh, that's how the weekend went. Gotcha. So this was a no kids weekend then. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah, not Those by are... not by design. It's just that uh, wife and I hadn't had any like you know alone time mm. for a while. So. And we didn't even like it. wasn't even overly romantic. We like went on a walk and and shot the shit. Um, we sat in the trailer in the mornings and made breakfast and just kind of talked and stuff. It was really cozy more than hmm. romantic, I guess. Sure. Yeah. That's, that's nice, man. That's it. You know, it's really great spending time with the whole family, but sometimes it's yeah. just nice to get away and just have a one-on-one. It's pretty good. Yeah. Um, you put road runners in here. Have you, have you started seeing road runners fl- run, running around Alamogordo? Is that a thing now? I have, dude, two days in a row now on my drive home from work. I've seen a roadrunner run in front of my car on the highway. I have, I, I've realized this today when I was thinking about it. Like, oh my God, it's another roadrunner. I have never seen a roadrunner except on a road while I'm in my car. <laughs> like, is that legitimately why they're called roadrunners? I. I've, never seen one just like you know out in the woods or i want to know like what were they called before we had paved roads were they just (laughs) were they dust runners and then they're like oh shit we gotta now now we gotta upgrade that yeah and and another thing that really confuses me is that they don't they don't go meet me Uh, and they don't look they don't look anything like the damn roadrunner cartoon either right and they're not particularly fast i mean they're kind of quick but they're not like i mean you're not chasing one down on foot like I don't know if these roadrunners could actually get away from a coyote. <laughs> <laughs> and when's the last time you saw just one coyote? Like it's either yeah. no coyotes or like seven of them. Well, I mean that maybe that was the real point of the trail trotters. Uh, I like that. Uh, oh. What what was that? Was, might have been the real point of that cartoon was wasn't the fact that roadrunner was so fast, but the the coyote was wily coyote was just that stupid. It, that. Could be. In, which, in which case it becomes a really cruel way to demonstrate mental retardation and <laughs> it's just one one more reason that the old cartoons are problematic oh geez uh, he he really liked his gadgets though he he did he just didn't know how to use any of them yeah and he ordered all of them from amazon i mean um acme corp right which is the original name for amazon right <laughs> yes <laughs> they stopped selling gadgets for a little while to just sell books. Yeah, yeah. Out of it's out of some dude's garage. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. crazy. All right. Um, bald now. It, yeah, and no. Uh, <laughs> on on both heads. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I I I don't want to admit that I did this, but I did this. I had a problem with my iPhone. I couldn't figure out how to fix it. And then mm-hmm. I got the invite to apply for the Apple Card, but I couldn't do that either because my phone was on iOS 13 beta. So in order to fix my phone, 
I downgraded to 12.4, mm-hmm. applied for the Apple card while I was there. It fixed my phone. That night, my phone automatically re-updated to iOS 13, and the problem came back. Wow. What, what's the issue? What, what issue are you having with the phone? Um, for whatever reason, sometime along the way, my, I merged my contact between my wife and her, her work account. So now it says Sarithia, Sarithia, uh, wait, it says Sarithia, uh, Lemos, Sarithia, R, Master Sergeant, 477, uh. and then Lemos again. And it's like, what in the shit? Like, it put that as her middle name, and it fucked all of her contact information up in, in my contacts. And the other problem is we have certain contacts that my wife and I share, and each other is one of them. So it fucked it up on her phone, too. Oh, geez. Yeah. So I was trying to fix that. It seemed to fix it. I don't know if it actually fixed it or if, I don't know if it would have updated or synced up with uh, with iCloud that night and fucked it up anyway. But when it went back to, to iOS 13, because I forgot to remove the the certificate, the profile, it it's fucked up again now. So mm. yeah, damned be to me. Yeah. So th- that might be why your contact info is screwed up on my phone. Well, that whole rigmarole, I think, is why, because it was actually sending from uh, my wife and I's joint account instead of sending from my account, even Mm. though they're the same account, Apple separates them because you can, yeah. You should get a bong account. No. Bongs are better than joints. Mm. No. (laughs) Uh, I mean, I agree. They typically are, but (laughs) usually, usually you don't want to, you don't want to enjoy one of those by yourself. Right, like a joint is almost better enjoyed by itself. By its by yourself, right? Because right. no nobody else is fucking t- talking and waving it on. As long as you can, as long as you can handle it and snuff it when you're done. <laughs> it's been a long, long time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It has. Hey, uh, I have not lived over half my life, well, like way more than half my life, uh, since the last time. Yeah, I've lived more than half my life in the military, so. Correct. That's something you have not yet done. Well, no, I I did. You did for like two years. Yeah. Well, it yeah. would have been like three years by the time it all averaged I, out. I'm but... back to having over half my life being civilian life now. So <laughs> I'll be there in uh, like six years. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh my gosh. So I caught up on my backlog of podcasts over the last week. Oh really? Finally caught up. Wow. And, um, I found that I need to listen to more podcasts. And um, so first of all, you gave me a recommendation. I think it was either last week or the week prior. Uh, John Green's show. Anthrop- Anthrop- anthropomorphic, anthropomorphic. Reviewed. Reviewed. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah. No, Anthropocene Reviewed. That's it. Anthropocene Reviewed. Yeah. Yes. Um, excellent. I binged that. Like I listened <laughs> to the entire catalog in like a day and a half. Right. <laughs> I told you, dude. Like, yeah. Like, so, that's exactly what I did. I, I listened to one. And I was like, oh, uh, no, we're going. Yes. That, yeah. yeah, yeah. That was like my last Saturday, I think. Oh, my God. It's so good. Yes. Um, and then uh, I've been meaning to listen to this show for quite a while. Um, it's a Radiotopia show called Ear Hustle. Yeah. I started listening to that. I'm almost a season in. They just started up season four a couple of weeks ago. I'm almost done with season one. It's way different than anything I've listened to before, uh, but I'm really digging it. It's uh, it's recorded in San Quentin Prison in California, mm. and it's it's got a Radiotopia employee that that moderates the podcast basically, and one of the co-hosts. And then her co-host is is an inmate. And there's a lot of interviews and a lot of people that get involved in the show and like all of the audio engineering and all of that stuff is done right there in San Quentin. Mm. And it is insightful. Like you think, you know what prisons are like by watching TV and movies and stuff like that. Um, it's not quite like that. <laughs> so it's, it's really interesting. Uh, I, I encourage every, everyone to check it out. If you just listen to the first episode just to see what it's like, or actually the very first episode in the, in the feed is a four minute trailer. Mm-hmm. That gives you a really good idea of what the show is like. Um, I would I would say give it a try, and if you like it, uh, let me know. Let me know uh, 
you know where where you're at in the show and 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 what you think of it. Uh, I think it's pretty good. That is cool. That is one of the one of the podcasts that's on my short list of next to add podcasts. Yeah, but ear hustle, ear hustle sq dot com is the is the address for that. Yeah, um, as in ear hustle San Quentin. Yes. Yeah. All right. Speaking of hustle, uh, what's uh, Big Boys Jay got to say? Welcome to your Movie Draft Minute, presented by DiamondClub.tv for the week of August 12, 2019. I'm your host, Big Voice Jay. Pro tip, you can borrow any movie from Rick Astley's Pixar collection. Except one. He's never going to give you up. Let's go to the scoreboard. Team Game Night's in last place with $211.8 million. Team Debug Squad's in fifth place with $482.8 million. Team Half a Drink is in fourth place with $775.6 million. Team Drunk Kids Gaming is in third place with $952.4 million. Team Retro Misery is in second place with $1,015.4 million. And in first place with $1,258.2 million, it's Team Movie Party. Well, that's your stream, Team Movie Draft Minute. All totals are record as of August 4th. 2019 yeah yeah this is gonna be the order man um it's over uh yeah they didn't they they didn't lost too much steam yeah uh yeah so movie party nobody's catching them even if they didn't have the only movie left um yeah and uh dkg is not gonna catch us Mm -mm. i think pretty safe in second place um yep. yeah yeah that's uh that's a wrap folks yeah of course last uh, time we said that that was definitely it it changed like three things before it was over with only like two movies left so whatever yeah. um yeah we're, we're just gonna well, go with that yeah so speaking of speaking of movie party uh movie parties this weekend the mm. diamond club party and um I got. I've actually got a few things to say about it, but I'm. I'm gonna. You know what? That movie party is is hosted by Clyde Harvey, aka yeah. Little Puncher. Yeah. And among the many many things that I admire about Clyde, uh, one of them is that he's a patron of ours. Yes. Where Where do you think he might have gone to sign up to do that? Patreon.com. That's kind of the obvious part, right? So Patreon.com slash. I'm gonna guess. I'm going to guess patreon.com slash ritual misery. That's exactly where he went. Patreon.com right. slash ritual misery. Yeah. Uh, Clyde, we want to say thank you. You have been a loyal patron for 33 months straight. It's damn near three years, dude. That is awesome. That is amazing. Um, yeah. How, how uh, does that be even like happen? Clyde. Be like Clyde. Go over to patreon.com slash ritual misery and be able to have access to pre-shows and post-shows and and otherwise unpublished videos and interviews and embarrassing things from our distant past. And uh, and, and, and if I get tired of waiting for Kent to publish the next episode to be published, uh, all of the, the patron-only feed with the pre-show and post-show uh, way early because I don't feel like waiting, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so check it out. Patreon.com slash Ritual Misery. Hey, Kent. Um, it's that time, man. Uh, who is sponsoring this week's episode of the Ritual Misery podcast? The Diamond Club Movie Party. The Diamond, Diamond Club, Club Movie Party. Diamond Club Movie Party is happening this Saturday. So the for the uh, um, uh, audio-only listeners, this we're referring to the distant past, probably. <laughs> Of August 17th, 2019, uh, where we are going to revisit a, a classic film named The Greasy Strangler. This is a movie that we watched a movie party a couple of years ago, and it's kind of what we measure all other movies against. It is amazing. What makes this occasion extra special is if you go over to the uh, DC Movie Party Twitter account, which is uh, twitter.com slash DC Movie Party, you will see Clyde posting about the this week's movie party. And he said the only, and he, well, it was actually the movie party account that, that posted it. 
And Poodle responded to it and said, the only way to make this more epic is if Sky Elabar joined us. And he tagged him with his Twitter tag. Sky Elabar is the star of the Greasy Strangler. Oh, nice. Guess who? Guess who is joining us this week for the movie party? Oh, that's awesome. Sky Elabar himself. It's going to be epic AF. So, yeah, go check out the, our sponsor for this episode, Diamond Club Movie Party. It's a stream. Indeed it is. All right. Hey, and I, got, I got some bad news, man. Okay, what's that? Um, you know how I um, I get home from work on Thursdays uh-huh. and I'm like, crap, I got to throw a game together. And then like with 30 minutes to spare, I'll get the game done. Mm-hmm. And then we'll be all set up. I'm. I'm sorry, man. We're not, we're not gonna have a game tonight. Well, I'm gonna have to tell you something. I don't have a stinger, but I have a game, so I'm gonna play your stinger, and then we'll play my game. Oh, oh, wait, w- what is this? Yeah, how about that shit? Can I please have your attention? In the last thirty minutes, Kent's done something. Now you've got a guess. He was very excited. Kent. Games. Play with him. Okay, Kent. So I don't have uh, I don't have musical stingers either. So you just kind of give yourself an applause or a womp womp if you want them. <laughs> um, I have been looking at creating a new company, an LLC, for my post post Air Force career. Something that will um, afford some some protections and and make it easier to separate accounts and finances, things like that. All the stuff that an LLC does for you. Uh huh. And that got me thinking, like, what if I just made a, a subsidiary of Ritual Misery Productions and did did it that way? Or would I make Ritual Misery Productions a subsidiary of this new company I'm forming? Uh, so, it, well, let's look at some examples. And I started going down the subsidiary chain. Okay. So my game for you tonight is called Sub Love. And I have given you, in the show notes, if you look at column G, uh, I have given you... 10 choices and I'm going to give you a company that each one of each each company that I'm going to give you is a subsidiary of one of the companies uh on this list. Um and uh, let me make the list visible. There it is. The list is now visible and actually there's more to the list cuz I suck at life. No, that's it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Yep. So there's your list of 10 parent companies. And okay. I'm going to give you a subsidiary of one of those companies, and you're going to try to guess which one it is. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So these are these 10 companies in this list are very well-known corporations. Yeah. You want to go down the list real quick to make sure we're looking at the same list? Sure. We've got Procter & Gamble, PepsiCo, Mars, Inc., 3M, The Walt Disney Company, Comcast, Johnson & Johnson, Time Warner, Hasbro, and Viacom. Yeah. Okay. How well do you think you know these companies? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Probably not that well. I mean, you know the companies decently. You just may not know the intricate workings of each one. Yes. None of these companies are foreign to you. Correct. <clears throat> okay. So your first, your first subsidiary, NextCare. Next care. Next care. What the hell is Next Care? Next Care is a health and beauty company. Oh my gosh. This is probably I'm thinking like like creams and and cleansers and stuff. You're exactly correct. Uh, I um, So my heart is telling me that it's either Procter and Gamble or Johnson and Johnson. Because I know those both of those companies as um, as companies that would make uh, uh, you know toiletry items and and mm. uh, you know uh, skincare products and whatnot. I'm going to say Procter and Gamble. <clears throat> Damn. This next care is a 3M subsidiary. 3M, mm-hmm. the famous maker of tape. Yes, and Bondo, <laughs> by the way. And Bondo. So. Okay. Next Care is a subsidiary of 3M. Oh, my God. <laughs> All, right. All right. How about DreamWorks? 
DreamWorks. That's that's an easy one. That is a subsidiary of the Walt Disney Company. <clears throat> DreamWorks. Oh, oh my God! I you said DreamWorks. I was thinking Pixar. You oh, were. God. Dr- oh. It's actually okay. a subsidiary of Comcast. Comcast. <laughs> All right. All right. This one you should be able to get. This one, a- any red blooded American male should be able to get this one. ESPN. ESPN? ESPN. That, that is a subsidiary of Disney. You are right. All right. There's your, there's your applause. Hey, okay. I, get, I get a point finally. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Next on my list Monopoly. This should be a fairly easy one, or is it a trick one? Oh, dear God. All right, so Monopoly, the the famous board game, the game, the board game that's famous for breaking up families. Uh, that's famous for being ripped off thrice. Uh, is that all? Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I'm going to have to go with Hasbro, man. That's the only toy company that I see on this list. Yay! <laughs> you got it. <clears throat> All right, fine, fine, fine. How about People, as in People Magazine? People Magazine. People Magazine. Um, hmm. The only company I see on this list that I know is a publisher of, of magazines and things like that would be Time Warner. So I'm going to go with Time Warner. You would be correct. That's three in a row. Holy cow. Hat trick. Ugh. Uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Here's one that may or may not be easy. This is kind of a, a, a medium ball. A semi-soft, semi, semi-solid, semi-solid ball. Motrin. <gasps> Motrin? Mm-hmm. Little. Ye- oh, no, no, that's Nuprin. Yeah. Little. Motrin. Yellow. Different. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's... Probably a Procter and Gamble property. Johnson and Johnson. Shit, that would have been my second guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's that damn mosquito flying around again. Well, of course. Ugh. Sure, blame the skeeter. <laughs> there's a skeeter on my Peter. Knock it off. How about Tide? Tide. Tide. As in the laundry detergent. As in Ricky Craven. Yes. As as in the the maker of of uh, Generation Z snacks, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So this this could be to any of the snack companies or or any of the other companies. You just don't you you don't know. Tide. <laughs> so I see a couple of snack companies on this list mm-hmm. that are still, available. but I think I am once again going to say Procter and Gamble. You are correct. Yes, it is Procter and Gamble. Go me. Oh, I see what you're doing. You're marking them off as you go along. (laughs) I am. Uh, Except they don't always match up one for one. So. Oh, crap. Yeah. Well. Well. (sighs) All right. Next on the list is, uh, let's see here, Nickelodeon. Nick, 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 Nick. Nickelodeon. Well, damn. I'm glad you told me that they don't necessarily <laughs> line up this way, <laughs> because the only two on my list remaining are PepsiCo and Mars Inc. And I'm not thinking Nickelodeon belongs to either of those. Um, hmm. I feel like this is a Viacom property. You are correct. It is a Viacom property. Yes. And to... I would have gotten this wrong if you didn't tell me that uh, I could use these more than once. Right. Well, you because you marked off a few that that you shouldn't have marked off. But hey, it's your game. Okay. <laughs> it's your answer okay. sheet. <laughs> <laughs> How about Doritos? Yep. Doritos, I believe, belongs to PepsiCo. It does, in fact, belong to PepsiCo. Excellent. And finally, uh, and this this might be a, 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 a toss round for you because uh, according to this, it's according to your list. If you had marked everything off correctly, um, Mars would be your only choice left. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But does Mars, the candy company, make Pedigree the dog food? 
Oh. <laughs> Man. Well, <sighs> it's definitely not Viacom, Hasbro, Time Warner, Comcast, Walt Disney Company. Those I'm sure of. But all the rest are options. <laughs> So we have so remaining would be PepsiCo, Mars Inc., 3M, Johnson and Johnson, and that would be it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, hmm. Does Mars make dog food? That's the big thing I have to figure out. Would you put a red herring on this list? <laughs> oh, yeah. I think you would. <laughs> now, did you? I'm not sure yet. Um, but would you? Absolutely. Oh, man. If this was question one, I probably would have gone with Procter & Gamble. Um, but you know what? I'm going to go with Mars, Inc. You're going with Mars, Inc. I am. Final answer? Final answer. You want to phone a friend? Nope. <laughs> 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 or hold on, I'll call you real quick. <laughs> like, Man, that sounds like a Comcast dig to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, you are well, correct. It is Mars Inc. Mars, oh. the candy company, makes the kibble in the pedigree. Yes. All right. Did I get the D? I have no idea. <laughs> I'm sure you did. <sighs> if you if you haven't, you will. Hooray for getting the D. <laughs> oh, Holy crap. Okay, so that was the game Sublove. Awesome. Thank you. That was that was a lot of fun. It's, it's neat to to switch roles once in a while. Yeah, well, uh, <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> giddy up. <laughs> uh, All right, uh, so on to our main topic tonight. Um our main topic tonight is uh yeah. It it sure is, Amos. Uh the thing that strikes me about our main topic is um you know, you know when um right, right. No no, no, that's that's kind of what I was where I was at with it. Um but I I just keep thinking about the other dude though. Because hmm. he was saying Okay, sure, 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 sure. I mean, that's not that's not an invalid point, but I mean, if you look at this from from a different angle, like like take yourself out of the equation, okay? Like look at this from like top down view. It, it it suddenly becomes obvious that oh, oh, okay, sure, sure, yeah. I guess, I guess I hadn't looked at it that way. I mean, that doesn't that doesn't necessarily invalidate what he said either, but that is definitely a different way of looking at it. Um, now I wonder what the report is going to say about the. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I wonder the same thing because I mean, I mean, you've got a really good point uh, because I mean, when when they when they interviewed those people uh, and and they brought a very unique perspective to it, uh, I, you know, it's 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 kind of a toss up w- where they're going to go with it because I mean, you could really go, you could really go in the direction of. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the, the the problem with going down that route of thinking is that suddenly anything becomes possible, and then you'll never fucking know, right? I mean, that's just kind of where that ends up. So, it, I mean, can you Occam's razor this and and make just just the simplest solution is going to be the most obvious one, which is. Yeah, and uh, MJ Snow in the chat says, have you considered it from the... No, no, I, I have. I, I did. I considered it. Um, <laughs> I just... 
<laughs> again, I really think if you you just got to look at the simplest solution, and that's I mean, once you go down that path and just like what's the what what's the most direct route from A to B, it's just it's just obvious to me, man. What do you think? And that's all I have to say about that. Yeah. All right. Well, hopefully you all got something out of that and uh, let us know what you think about that because we are, we're actually, we, we're always asking for emails and things like that, but this is really one of those things that we really want to hear your opinion on. So let us know what you think and let us know uh, how you got to those conclusions because that's, this is, this is a, a, a this is an aspect of humanity that I just, I, I almost have a problem believing isn't there for everybody. Yeah, yeah, we could go on, on on and on about this. We could have a segment on this topic every week. It, this could, um, it, yeah, it, but I mean that, that rich of a topic. I really think talking about it even more is just going to get us nowhere, though. Eventually, we're just not going to have anything to say. <laughs> that's a great point. It's a bit, that's the best point made so far. All right, Ken, how can people find you and find out all, all the things that you're doing on the old interwebs? If you want to find out what I actually have to say about a topic, check me out over on Twitter at RM underscore Del Noche. You don't put opinions on there. Yeah, I mean, yeah, sometimes. I don't know. You got to dig for them. <laughs> They're there. Um, also, hit me up pretty much everywhere else. Uh, Del Noche or Del Noche 77 all over the place. What about you, dude? Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Ethan Kane, E T H A N C A I N E, and that's pretty much the only place. Uh, but you can find the show on at Ritual Misery on Twitter, and that's going to get you. Hmm, don't it's not going to get you that. That was. <laughs> I hope not. That was awful. Uh, mm. Let's try that again. I'm not going to cut it or anything, but let's try it again. You can find the show on Twitter at Ritual Misery, and there you'll find episodes and occasional notes and other things. Uh, follow that account and pretty much anything that Kent or I do on uh, podcasts ends up in that stream somehow. So you'll find out all the things we're involved with. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. I want everyone to join our conversation in discord bit.ly slash RMP discord. And you can find all these links and more ways to support the show and give feedback at our website, ritualmisery.com. We are live every Thursday at 7 p.m. Civic on diamondclub.tv and twitch.tv slash ritual misery. Thank you so much to Kevin McLeod for allowing us to use your music. Thank you for listening, for Kent, for me, and for you. This has been your Ritual Misery Podcast. See ya. Damn, we got on time. You have enjoyed this program. <laughs> R-I-T-U-A-L-M-I-S-E-L-Y.